Scream news. Scream news. Hang Tom. <laughs> <laughs> the Scream mask was debuted, and it's the same Scream mask. It's not really news. It's just cool to see it and know that this little piece on this little screen that we're looking at here is from the new Scream movie, and that oh, yeah, gets yeah. me excited in my crotchal region. Shit. Last piece of news that we are going to talk about today. It's not really news. It's just a fun uh, fun article I found by Film School Rejects, uh, which is pretty rad. Uh, it says the five best Scream fan theories so far. And I will go through them quickly. Uh, go ahead. <clears throat> but uh, the first one, Sidney Prescott gets killed in the cold open. We talked about this earlier. Yep. Um, that one, uh, we talked about exactly why that would be a good or a bad thing. I think it would be entertaining as fuck. And I think it would immediately, it would, it would immediately say... Something this movie needs to say, which is anything could fucking happen, uh, and that's a really good thing for this film. But I say no to that because I, it would just make everything that Sidney Prescott's fucking survived pointless up to this point. Like all those movies, just so she could die by Ghostface hands anyway. It sounds kind of fucked up to me. Well, and, and I mentioned that earlier. I feel like if you're going to move forward with the series, that's why I said that if she dies early, mm -hmm. that's exactly what the franchise needs. It's the steroid shot that it needs to move forward and evolve. Because the idea that you keep on using the same tired ass characters to continue to carry the franchise sets a bad precedent, not just for your franchise, but for a lot of other horror franchises as well moving forward. I feel like you got to get rid of these characters to evolve the series. So I feel like that's actually a strong theory, and I'm going to stick by it and rub its butt. I feel like it's going to happen. I feel like 30 minutes, she's dead. <clears throat> It's definitely an interesting one, man, for sure. I, I can't wait to see what they do with it. Uh, number two, Sidney Prescott is the killer in Scream Five. I do oh, not God, like that not. either, uh, uh, because mm -hmm. it's just like they've been they've been waiting for this to happen since Scream Two. Like I feel like to do that now would just be like, okay, Sidney's the killer. That's just it that doesn't so have any pizzazz to it. It's like it's like it's like when a girl says, "Hey, I'm not on I'm I'm not on birth control. Can you please pull out?" And then you squirt her in the eye. And I've done that before. It's not, you don't want that. You're like, oh, fuck. I didn't, ex oh, God, it's nasty. I feel like if you do that, that's that's a terrible idea. It's also a slap in the face of a lot of people that consider Sidney Prescott a hero and one of the one of the few strong female protagonists in horror movies to make her the killer's stupid as fuck. Like that, and, and you you mentioned yeah. earlier, oh, you could see that coming from a million miles away. You could see that too. I mean, that'd be easy. Yeah. That's an easy exactly. door. Yeah, yeah, I think it's too obvious to ever do. And again, it yeah. still ruins her her journey to me. Uh, number three, Dewey is the mastermind. Now, what does uh, that mean? Easy. He's the killer. Uh, he's the franchise's sweetest, wholesome character who wouldn't hurt a fly unless they were wearing a mask and murdering <laughs> the residents of Woodsboro. His kind demeanor makes the idea he's been orchestrated all this violence all these years all the more enticing. Now, that's actually interesting. So what they're yeah. saying is not only is he does he become the mastermind, but that he has been the fucking or architect of the entire thing since the very fucking beginning. How do you know that my dim-witted inexperience isn't merely a subtle form of manipulation used to lower people's expectations, thereby enhancing my ability to effectively maneuver within any given situation he's not been the killer but he's been in control of the killer that is a that's that's kind of fucking wild i i i would say yes but it feels so goddamn jersey shore fucking drama like i like it like it seems so obvious like we talked about sydney prescott that was obvious it's so easy to do that too. Like that's just an easy fucking way. Like the one character that's always been nice, that's always been <clears throat> gullible, that's always been the lovable guy, and then you make him the killer. It's almost like God. I mean, it's so it's so fucking sweet. It's diabetic. Like that's how sweet it is. It's it's so stupid. <laughs> it's just, I just dumb. Think I, I think to do it for one movie. Like so so if like, and I'm not sure if I would like it. It just it 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 it, it gets the people going a little bit. It's uh, provocative, but. To make it to make it to where he was a good guy in Scream Four, and something happened, and now he decided to be the killer in Scream Five. That I would fucking hate just as much as I was hate Sydney. But the idea that he's been the architect since Scream One, it changes all the movies and it changes everything. You'd have to go back and watch the movies and be like, "Holy shit, that was well, Dewey!" Like that, that would be interesting. But I see what you're saying too. No, I mean, the, the people in the comments are actually bringing it up, and I didn't even think about that. That's the same plot line they use for Doofy in Scary Movie, and it was a yeah. fucking joke. It was a yeah, parody because it's so stupid. <laughs> they used yeah. a guy named Doofy that literally <laughs> fucked the vacuum <laughs> as the mastermind. Yeah. 
Gail so, Swallows <laughs> says be rich. <Yeah. laughs> it's I mean I'm not I don't think they should do it. It's just that one's more interesting to me to know I've heard so far. Uh, okay, number four. Randy faked his own death and is the Scream Five killer. We've talked about this before. You don't mm. see him die on screen. Manson, Bundy, OJ, so <laughs> I think you see his body. I think maybe. Um, I don't know about ja- that one. Jamie Kennedy actually tweeted. He said they are making. Uh, uh, someone tweeted. They said Randy faked his own death and is the mastermind behind the killings. Jamie Kennedy retweeted this and he said they are making a new scream. I think this is an interesting angle and I believe I know why he did it. Who's on board? Um, for me, mm. that the fact that Jamie Kennedy retweeted that shows that that's absolutely not going to happen and uh yeah. I I don't I can't say I hate it. I I can't say I fucking hate it. I think it would feel, be a little bit wild. Yeah, I I feel like that's too weak sauce. And 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 also we talked about that like you know look the the Jamie Kennedy character was cool. Nope, I hate we all it. changed my mind. Sorry. Yeah, we Sorry, all were ahead. cool with it. We liked him, but you're going to make this fucking dweeb the killer, the mastermind, the guy that, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's a dweeb, like, dude. He's a dweeb on purpose, and I love him for the character. But you're trying to make him a mastermind. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, and I'm, I'm pick your sack lunch I'm, with you. I want to say that they showed him really quick with his throat slit. I, th- I think we saw him with his throat slit. I, I know he died off screen, but I think we did see his body with his throat slit. I'm not 100 percent sure know. on that, but I think so. Um, oh no, I was right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You do see his body. Thank you guys. That's true. Okay, so uh, and then finally the last one. On this list, at least, my favorite, Jay's least favorite, no Sharon Stone, Stu is alive. My mom and dad are gonna be so ah! I, I don't like that. Want it? I need it. Give it to me in my butt. <clears throat> um. No. Just say yes. Just say yes. I don't. I no. I don't want it. And I, like <laughs> again, uh, Matthew Willard being back in the franchise would make sense to a degree. If you're gonna have flashback sequences, fine. If you're, I don't know how you're gonna do that. If you're gonna de-age him or something like that, he's fucking dead, guys. Like he's fucking dead. Look, you can slice it and dice it any goddamn way you want, but the fact is, he had a giant tube TV that was still plugged in fall on his goddamn face and he was cut up too and he was bleeding out he's mm-hmm. dead this motherfucker is more dead than goddamn donald trump's career right now but he's dead <laughs> and again it's a joke i know i, I know he want to i know he want a straw poll <laughs> so don't get mad i know that why people want him back but i think the motherfucker's dead but either way <laughs> i know there's a lot of people saying bring him back alive. Well, I know. Well, he's alive in real he's life. Alive. I mean, he's he's uh, fucking shaggy. He's doing well, <laughs> but he needs he's to stay well. shaggy. Yeah, I, I I know I know we've already, I know it's 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 hard to like not rehash the same stuff because we've had this this argument so many goddamn times. I just think that I think that fucking you know I think he could survive that fucking TV falling on your dude. Head, that was like fucking sixty pounds. Like yeah, you remember 60. how heavy we you remember how heavy those were. Yeah, but like heavy as Fifty fuck. Cent got shot nine times. All yeah, right, he, did. Uh, he survived. Uh, fucking, I've seen vi- you look at the news. Like you see people survive some fucking wild shit. I don't mm-hmm. think the question is could he have survived it. I think he definitely could have survived it. Um, but I, I, I think the question is why hasn't he? If, if he lived, he would have, he would have at least been brought up. Because uh, he's not going to live in secret, right? They would have recovered his body, and the, he would have been uh, either his body was missing, which would have been at least talked about mm-hmm. as soon as the second movie. Because they'd be like, "Oh my God, it's the missing body of Stu." They'd immediately wondered where he was. He never gets yeah. brought up again in that sense. So to me, the only way to do because it because he uh, was dead, his face was like a goddamn pancake. I, <laughs> they didn't want to bring him up. <laughs> I think that I think that uh, that's the only thing that would be stupid about it is as how come if he's been alive this entire time no one's ever brought him up through four fucking movies no uh, well three more movies but and you would I do you would imagine in, the, in this world with with cotton weary and all those guys like the news agency would have gone after him if he were somehow still alive you know gail would have found out at some point that he was still being kept alive in a, a jail cell somewhere yeah so Anyway. The only way that, that they could really probably actually bring Stu back is again if they go with the actor angle, which I know Stab exists. But if they go with the actor angle where they have that's Neff the Campbell only herself, they have Matthew Lillard playing himself, and maybe he's the killer because he's pissed because they didn't invite him to be in this movie. <laughs> but I feel like I feel like if you do that, that if you feel like uh, if you do that though, it, does it not feel like a, a rehash of Scream Three? 
Uh, a little bit. Where but actors also, are playing new actor or they're playing themselves or I, I don't know. It, it, like, But they never I, I, did it with the actual actors. They were actors in the movie. Know. So like, you know what I mean? Like, but, but it, it is kind of stabbish. But it could backfire real fucking could. bad. Oh, like, yeah. That could, could come be off awful. as corny as shit. I, it, this is why Scream is so fascinating to me, though, is because whatever they do with this movie, they like, I mean, honestly, I could sit down right now and I'm not sure. If you told me, okay, you have to write a Scream movie. You have to write a Scream movie, and also Nev Campbell's going to be back, and Dewey's going to be back, everybody's going to be back. You have to write a movie, and you have to make it original. You have to make it different. You have to make it in the vein of Wes Craven's meta world. I'd have no fucking idea how to write that and make that ending without pissing somebody off or making it some generic Sydney's the killer shit. And you know so, what? Uh, I Rose I, McGowan I, I, didn't, didn't die in the garage door opener. She's been the killer the entire time because you could we survive st- that. You could survive that. I, she was I mean, only halfway. Uh, my, honestly, my like which died. which one's more survivable, her death or the TV falling on you? It's the TV. No it's way, TV. dude. I I will fucking. You know what I'm gonna do, Jay? You know you what need I'm gonna to go find do? that same size TV and feel how heavy it is. I'm going to. I'm gonna find that TV and I'm gonna let you drop it on my fucking face, <laughs> and I'm gonna let you stab yeah. me a couple times just to prove that he could still be alive. And then we're gonna call it Jay watched the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, i'll fucking haunt you <laughs> yeah. i mean that's fine but it, you won't be here physically anymore <laughs> that's it guys that's what we're doing that's how we'll get views on the channel say that again and i'll get you like a fish get you like a fish if you say that again say that again and i'll get you like a fish Got you like a fish if you say that again. Like to cut them, like to choke them, like to hold them. Young and old ones, Sydney Prescott's my older one. Oh yeah, like to wear white masks in the night. Hey guys, this is Mark Wahlberg, and I just wanted to take a second to talk to you about We Watched a Movie. They got a really good Patreon going on over there. They'll do videos for you based on any of their characters. They'll do commentaries for you. They'll do movie reviews for you. They got behind the scenes videos. You got 20% off of all their merch. They'll even make you your own video store card like Blockbuster back in the day. They got commentaries just sitting there waiting to be fucked by your movie ears. I'll put the link below. We gotta outrun the wind.